Polls so close in several key states, the race for the White House could come down to some key votes. And one demographic that could swing the balance is the Latino community. Each campaign has been courting Latinos, one with more success than the other. Arthi Pohl is looking into the numbers. So, Arthi, what are the numbers showing? Well, remember, this is, as you say, a key demographic, the Latino community and whether or not they come out to vote. And certainly the numbers at this stage are suggesting that they're on track to be a historic turnout with this particular demographic. Now, Latino Decisions, which is a polling group that tracks Hispanic voting patterns, has said that there's up to 27 million eligible voters in that particular community. And when we're looking at how important also that this vote is, talk about states like Florida. Well, Hispanic community there makes up about a quarter of the population. So that can really help either campaign depending who it is that they're voting for. So we've gotten some numbers to show you that show sort of the early voting patterns. Again, this is according to Latino decisions. They say that early voting is up 100% compared to 2012 election in Florida, up 60% in North Carolina, and up 25% in Nevada. And they predict that about 79% of those voters are voting for Hillary Clinton. So that is quite significant. And we know that both campaigns have been trying to court this particular demographic because of how critical they can be in so many states, John. Yeah, this is a situation, of course, with Donald Trump kicking off his campaign effectively with a major and much quoted slam against the Latino community, particularly uh, Mexicans. So that and what other factors is this has struck such a, a chord with the uh, demographic? Well, of course, you nailed it right there on the head, John, because, of course, what it is is not only people supporting Hillary, but, of course, you've got this demographic that is feeling so anti Trump because of that sort of anti-immigrant rhetoric that he has been spewing throughout this campaign. Uh, and so we do have some examples of how he's so-called tried to court this community, but it hasn't always gone that way. As you mentioned, there was the opening of his campaign. He's also made comments in the middle and right at the end. We've got some examples to show you. Let's start with his campaign launch and those comments he made. Take a listen. When Mexico sends its people, they're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists. So certainly, of course, that didn't go over well with the Hispanic community uh, being called criminals or rapists. And then perhaps to try and massage over those voters a little bit on Cinco de Mayo, he tweeted out this photograph on his Twitter page, uh, him with a Mexican taco bowl saying the best taco bowls are made in Trump Tower and I love Hispanics. That also didn't go over too well. And then finally wrapping up the campaign, uh, Donald Trump also said this at that third and final debate. Take a listen. We have some bad, bad people in this country that have to go out. We're going to get them out. We're going to secure the border. And once the border is secured, at a later date, we'll make a determination as to the rest. But we have some bad hombres here, and we're going to get them out. So, I mean, there's been some questionable language there that would make that community not liken to Donald Trump a lot. And so it appears that we are seeing that in the numbers according to this latest poll, John. Bad hombres. Okay. Thanks, Arthi. You're welcome.